Hello, I'm Isha D, Student Placement Coordinator at NI, and today I'm going to take the topic of idioms and phrases. Idioms and phrases are generally used in poems and satires. It, it is used to make a more larger and more content in a sentence. And it is used like a metaphor for each sentence. And today, today I'm going to take 10 or 15 idioms and I'm, I'm going to explain uh, the meaning and how to use it in a sentence. So let's start. The first idiom which I'm going to take is the best of both worlds. The best of both worlds is a sentence which says that you can enjoy two opportunities at the same time. For example, you're a mother, you have children and you also have to do your work. Then you can do one thing, you can take a part-time job and take care of your children as well. So in this uh, situation, you can enjoy both the, both the worlds. You can, enjoy, you can you enjoy both the opportunities together. So you can say that I am experiencing the best of both worlds by taking care of my children and doing part-time job. I hope that's clear. We go to the next idiom and it is speak of the devil. Speak of the devil means uh, while you're talking about someone, that person appears suddenly. So that is what when you call someone to be a devil and you were speaking about him and he suddenly appeared. So this is what we use in a sentence. Speak of the devil. Hi Pam, I was just talking about your car. Hi Pam, I was just talking about you. So this way you can use it in a sentence. Let's move to the next idiom. The next idiom is see eye to eye. Okay, seeing eye to eye is basically agreeing with someone for a particular decision or situation. For example, if you're seeing eye to eye with a friend of yours, you're agreeing to him on a point. I see eye to eye, you know, eye, eye to eye with you on this point. You can use it in a sentence like this. The fourth idiom which I'm going to take is once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon is a is a, is an idiom which is used when you want to uh, refer to a re refer to an event which uh, happens very infrequently. For example, you're a student and you're not going to college a lot. Your friends will say that they get to see you once in a blue moon. They don't get to see you much. So this event occurs very infrequently or rarely. So this is called once in a blue moon. Let's go to the next idiom. The next idiom which I'm taking is when pigs fly. When pigs fly is an idiom to refer to an event which you think cannot happen ever. For example, you think that there is a very untidy girl and she is never going to clean her room. You can say that she is going to tidy her room when pigs fly. That means she is never going to do it. It is generally used, to, used for mocking people and other stuff. Let's take the sixth idiom. The sixth idiom is to cost an arm and a leg. You refer to an event for costing you an arm and a leg when you think it is going to be very expensive for you to cover that. For example, if you're having exams and you're supposed and your friends are insisting you to go go watch a movie with them. So you can tell them that this movie can cost me an arm and a leg as you can feel. So I hope this is clear. We can use it in a sentence whenever you want to refer to any situation which you think is going to be very devastating for you. The seventh idiom which I'm going to take is a piece of cake. A piece of cake is any task which you think is going to be very easy for you. For example, you're taking a test and you think it is very easy. So you refer to as that test as a piece of cake. For example, the math test was a piece of cake for me. Let's see some more idioms. The eighth medium which I am taking is let the cat out of the bags.
So this idiom is used when you think you have slipped out a secret accidentally. For example, there was a couple and the, their parents were planning a very secret and very surprise wedding for them. And all of a sudden you accidentally slipped out the secret in front of them. Then you will say, I let the cat out of the bath about your wedding plans. I hope that is clear. Let's move to the next idiom. The next idiom is to feel under the weather. To feel under the weather is an idiom to refer to a situation when you're not feeling well. You don't feel like doing something. For example, someone is calling you out for a for hanging out or for watching a movie and you don't feel like going, you can easily say that you can't come because you're feeling under the weather. That means you don't want to come or you're not feeling well or you are upset. Let's take the next idiom. The next idiom is to kill two birds with one stone. So this idiom is used when you think you have nailed two situations with one single method. For example, you are in a mood of going out, but you also want to stay with your father a lot because you have not spent time with him since a long time. So what you can do is you can take him out with you. So in that way, you can nail both the situations with one single method. So you will say that I killed two birds with one stone. I wanted to go out with my father and I also, and I also made some time out with myself. So this is called to kill two birds with one stone. Let's move to the next idiom. The next idiom is to cut corners. Cutting corners is referred to any event which you think someone has done but in a very irresponsible or in a very inefficient matter. For example, uh, you have workers in your house and they are building your bathroom and you think they have not done it properly. So you can use, the term, you use this idiom saying that the builders have cut corners while building the bathroom. Let's move to the next idiom. The next idiom is to add insult to injury. So this idiom says that suppose you were already in a bad situation. Suppose you were getting late for a meeting or a class and it started raining all of a sudden and you were on foot. So you can say that I was already getting late and the rain added insult to my injury. So this says that your worst situation got gotten burst. So I hope I got you clear with some idioms which we generally use. That's all. Thank you.